two through the town hall there. So we're heading on to uh, Right Slip to go and see uh, HGV motorcycles and hand in the logbook with the 500, CP 500. I trade against this uh, MC750S because uh, something I forgot. <laughs> the paperwork admin, uh, done. Uh, but while I'm riding down there, I thought I'd let you know how I've been getting on. I've done 115 miles. Have a little chat on how I feel. Well, I'm getting on with her. Um, we're getting to know each other. And um, dearly. <laughs> Yeah, getting to know each other. Um, it's a bigger bike, obviously, in many aspects, but the weight kind of thing is all down the bottom, which is uh, really nice on these windier days, which was one of the reasons why I swapped the 500 out, if you remember, or if you've seen my other posts. Uh, yeah, so a bit turn of speed, although I can't really rag it because um, it's all below the uh, first thousand miles really, 600 so whatever it is. But it's definitely a good turn of speed. Uh, I've had her in standard mode all the way. Uh, I've not tried any of the other modes yet. Feels alright to me. I mean, um, a good solid platform. I'm getting a bit of bluster on the wind today. Uh, I can feel it a bit on the chest. I'm sort of in two minds whether to get the larger screen or not. I'm not going to buy it, it's a problem, but I'm not quite sure whether I need it yet. Getting a bit of head buffing in on the, the chin, so maybe getting the larger of the two screens could help with that. So yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a different riding position, you know, a different uh, proposition, that's the word. You know, the 500 is street, you know, that's what it is. It's what it does a great job doing, awesome bike. If I could keep two, I would, you know, but can't. So I have to plumb for the best bike for what I need. Um, a bit later, you know, when I've got some no claims on my motorcycle policies and I've managed to con a bit more out of the garage from the missus, <laughs> I could have maybe two or three motorcycles, but hey, that's for later. So the NC750, uh, this is the manual version, the, the, the boys version. You've got a girls version, apparently, according to um, my Honda salesman. It's a girls version. Uh, the DCT, I think they call it. Um, it's a bit like a scooter, really. You know. So, um, yeah, that's for, that's been overly publicised. But you get these rare, uh, real men's version with, with the with the clutch and the gears. Um, that's great. All good fun, really. <laughs> oh, the comments. <laughs> no, it's alright. I, I, I didn't feel ready for DCT. I understand it. It's not really a scooter style because uh, you can manually override and stuff. But um, and I understand the reasons behind it. Um, it may, adds an extra 10 kilos to the bike, so it's somewhere around 10 kilos anyway. And an extra thousand pounds, I think, thereabouts. This wasn't a consideration. That's oh, windy. That's his holding. Yeah, there is a lot of hard blast coming from my left here. And um, 
Now she held it just there as you can see as evidence with the video. Camera don't lie as they say. Well, can sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so um so far, 118 miles in. Um I feel that I've made the right choice. Although I've got to admit, the last three days in the UK after the uh, Easter bank holiday have been wet, extremely windy. Um, yeah, so I really haven't had a nice day on it yet. So um, I'm just waiting for that rails, you know. Um, so I was well pleased with that. I thought, hello, yeah, I've, I've made the, the right choice. But then the wind's really picked up and oh my God. I don't know what bike you're riding is going to be, even cars will be getting blown about. Especially the little ones. Woohoo! Um, yeah, I might talk to Kevin at the HGP, ask about the larger screen. Is there something to stop this here? Is there's a definite windy bit going on. So yeah, the, the short thing to this this video is I'm enjoying it. Um, we've got on really well, even in this short distance that we've been together. Um, still getting used to everything, and she's probably getting used to me. But um, all of the stories about, you know, it's slow and sluggish. No, it's not. It is not. And I haven't even run this in yet. And it's still proving to me that she's got a lot to give, if needed. See that corner just there, when I was doing it on the CV500, I'm not dissing the CV500, I'll never diss it. It's a great bike. But in this wind, getting blown about, which, you know, I am now I'm getting, you know, probably a bit of turbulence off the back of that horse's lorry, I'm not too close, I'm, what, 30 yards away. But on the CB, you know, the back would be, you know, wiggling a bit and all that, in the wiggle bottom. Whereas this is, um, although I can feel it, it's not doing anything, you know? Do you know what I mean? It's like, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like, all the weight at the bottom is really holding me in place. The top might be doing a bit of a wobble, but it's not affecting the ride, which is odd. But, or maybe not, you know, maybe, maybe um, this is normal and I'm just experiencing it for the first time. Maybe you can tell me. We'll get past this horse's lorry just while I get on the open. It's all clear. We're good. So, okay, up we go. Nationals. So, I mean, if you can do a good turn of speed, no problem when you need to. And I'm not hammering it. You know? Uh, oh, that wind. Um, I'm not flooring it, obviously, because I'm still running her in. Yeah, I'm not nurse, you know, I'm not body coddling it, but I'm not, you know, ragging it out. Of course not, because I want to break it. Uh, the back brake's bedded in quite nice. I do a lot of back braking, engine, uh, engine braking and back brake rather than front. I will need to use my front a bit more just to bed it in a bit more. Maybe practice a few emergency stops when it's safe to do so. Right, let's do some filtering.
There they are, a bit of filtering. Uh, some nice people giving a bit of extra room, it's very nice. Very pleasant. Yeah, so um, maneuver, you know, slow manoeuvring through uh, field stream, no problem. Um, getting myself out of potential situations, no problem. You know, I don't know what the issue is for some people with this bike. Um, you're missing a load of tricks, people. It's comfortable, powerful, good turn of speed. A good presence as well, you're, you know, you're really up. You know, as you can see there with the filtering, people can see me. No messing about, even though I've got the uh, hazards on, I always put the high beam on now. Filtering so that they can see me in their, in their mirrors. If you haven't got hazards, I just put your high beam on you know, during the day, just uh, by night, during the day. Just so they catch you in the mirror, you know. And as you saw, the majority of people, part one, you know, gave you a little extra bit of room, you know, which is really nice. Um, and again, I thank everybody for that. If you watch this and see yourself, thank you. Or if you're a driver and you find yourself in that situation where a bike's coming through, you know, come on. You're not going anywhere. Don't need to be petty all the time, just. Give a bit of room, everyone's clear, you're gone, the bike's gone, it's going to leave you behind anyway. So, uh, anywho, so yeah, so the bike. Um, yeah, I'm going to speak about the windscreen, I'm not sure, it's, it's really weird. I'm getting protection from the standard screen, but I feel the, the buffeting on the bottom of my helmet. <laughs> Crash helmet, you fucking people. Um, could be dissipated a bit more and maybe a bit more on my shoulders maybe i don't know i'll have to speak and find out what options i've got or if you've got any suggestions then uh, please do leave a comment I mean, you know it might help me and help someone else so all worth doing so this is third let's pull away in third just 20 upwards. Uh, flicking about, no problem. Not as uh, light and nimble, obviously, as the 500. It's not designed for that. Uh, it's, you know, that's a street by 500, but it does exactly that in the in and out. <laughs> Good fun. Um, if you buy my one from HGB, I added the stand, USB-C, and the fly screen, and you'll have a right laugh. If you don't do too much motorway traffic, you'll have great fun. And, uh, you know, if you do buy it, I wish you well. Um, but it's, you know, so far, I've had no, no problem flicking this about. You know? Um, getting more confident in the cornering. Not as confident as I was with 500, but I've only had it a few days, so... God, these rumble strips are a bit dire, aren't they? Yeah, so... Um, like this one, so we go around, it's all nice and smooth. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you can actually, it's weird, you can feel the weight that's all down the bottom actually holding you there. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but 
you can sort of feel the all the bike is underneath you, if that makes sense. I know that sounds stupid as you are sitting on it, but um, you know, the petrol's below, everything is down low and all the weight is down, so you flick the top um, and it, it's just planted, you know? I think that's the right way to put it. I'm sure any, anyone else who owns an NC will um, share their thoughts with me, you know, it's just it's a strange feeling, it's, you know, when you come from a street bike onto this. You, um, it's a, like I say, it's a different proposition, you know. It's um, a you are sitting up more upright, which is nice, nice and comfy. But I can really sort of chuck her around, you know. It's it's odd. It's, it's an odd. At the moment, it's sitting strange, you know. Um, not, not lack of confidence, but it just, just feels strange. It just feels good. A strange good. Yeah? There's an epoxy moron for you, isn't it? You know? So, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. It really is uh, a good bike. And um, so far, you know, we're enjoying ourselves. Well, I hope she's enjoying me as. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, it, the, the wind dropping a little bit tomorrow apparently it's going to be quite a nice day um, so maybe I can put, pop a camera in here and we can go out for our first ride together and take some pictures somewhere I've actually got a roll of film to finish off in a couple of cameras, so um, might pack a couple of cameras and, and finish them rolls off, get them developed and shared with you guys on my website, davesphoto.co.uk. Plug there for myself. This video is sponsored by me. <laughs> That's another thing. Um, I know, like, you probably didn't see me because he's obviously concentrating on getting out of his house, but um, there are an awful lot of people, um, not worried about learners so much, although learners are better at it than, than, than uh, non learners, even full license holders, but um, we don't do the nod anymore, you know, the old courtesy nod. Um, not so much the uh, the pizza delivery people, so they seem to be in a world of their own, really, to be honest. But um, uh, what have we got? Yeah, okay. Um, but you know, you can tell people are learning to ride, ready, like I was. You know, I wasn't pizza delivery, but you know, I was learning to ride. You can tell the difference between the two. Normally, they're on a bike rather than a scooter. But anyway. Um, Just one second, we we'll join in traffic. So we'll just keep an eye on. There we go. Uh, see, so many people, they just won't do the nods. They just. Um, here we go. Some of the guys coming up behind me. Why well, I like going out out of London, further out than here. Uh, just people seem to calm down a bit. Not completely, you still get the odd numpty, but you don't get as many numpties as you do around here. And tip it in. See that? Nice there. Yeah, I'm sort of getting used to that now, the wider handlebars and the the, like I said earlier, the lower weight. Um, so we'll just go around here, as he says, and he muffs it up. The, 
Game, do I? I'm used to that Up and down the hill. And up we go. As you can tell, it's a good turn of speed, a bit too much. So, uh, you know, that was uphill. You know, what more do you want? It's actually got a bit more windy, I think, or blustery, you know, there's gusts of wind, maybe because of the buildings and stuff, but yeah, it seems to definitely be more than what there were. Hopefully it's blowing itself out and we'll have a lovely, well, it's going to be warmer tomorrow, so um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have a nice day tomorrow. And I'm off to see, who am I off to see tomorrow? Michael McIntyre with the wife and kids. <laughs> right. Top of the evening, a nice lunch or evening meal, whatever it's worth it. Moving up soon, really. I'm just putting in the money. And here we are, HGV. Yeah. Let's get par rocking. <laughs> 